Hello students, welcome to your channel. Please like, share and subscribe your own channel, School Studies. School Studies is pleased to announce the launch of our educational website, Patel Section. After years of hard work and dedication, we are delighted to officially announce the launch. Our goal with this website is to provide our students with an easier way to learn their lesson and prepare for exams. Today we will see a video related to GSP Solution Class 9 Social Science Chapter 17 Natural Vegetation Question 1. So let's solve question 1 of this chapter. The first question is answer the following questions briefly. In that the first one is why a diversity of vegetation is seen in India. So there are many factors which are responsible for the diverse natural vegetation. The first one is relief features. Presence of diversified relief features like mountains, plateaus, plain, desert etc. have created a diverse pattern in vegetation of India. Soil. Different types of soil such as alluvial, black, mountain, desert etc. are found in this diversified geograph ge geography of India. This variation in soils also creates differences in vegetation. Temperature. The vast difference in temperature and humidity of cold Himalayan regions and southern peninsula also leads to variation in vegetation. The amount of sunlight over a region depends upon its latitude and altitude. Vegetation grows faster in presence of more rain and isolation. The sun shines leads to variation in vegetation. Rainfall. The distribution of rainfall in India is so quite unequal. This too causes diversity in vegetation. Second question. What is the environmental importance of forest? So forests are important for our environment in following ways. Forest brings helps in bringing rain. They control the atmosphere from being, becoming adverse and hence maintain its optimum level. They purify air by taking up, up carbon dioxide and releasing life-saving oxygen. They control floods. They absorb harmful gases like carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, etc. They prevent soil erosion. They maintain groundwater level. They prevent deserts from expanding. They enhance natural beauty of a region. They are useful in reducing air pollution. They are used as places of, for adventures and tourist activities. Some forests are reserved as national parks, sanctuaries and bioreserves. This help in preserving flora and fauna of the nature. Next, what are the reasons for forest destruction? Destruction of forest. So the reasons are man due to his several anti-environmental activities and selfish motive disturbs the ecosystem. Man's never-ending desire to procure more and more land and exploit it for commercial purposes led to destruction, sorry, destruction of forest. Forests also get destroyed due to the increased population, government policies of establishing industrial units away from the industrial, residential areas, urbanization, multipurpose projects, construction of road, jume cultivation for obtaining timber and fuel wood, forest fire, etc. Destroying, destroying forest imbalances the ecology. What are the effects of forest destruction? So, effect of forest destructions are destruction of forest causes several, several adverse and harmful effects. Decreased rainfall, drought, global warming, greenhouse effect, advancing desert, lost habitat of wild animals, etc. are the, these factors. Fifth question, tropical forests are also called evergreen forests. Give reason. So, tropical forests are found almost all parts of India and are called evergreen forests because tropical rainforests are found in hot and humid regions where annual rainfall exceeds 200 cm. Trees of this forest do not shed their leaves fully in any season. Hence, they remain green throughout the year and are known as evergreen forests. In other words, since the trees do not shed their leaves fully in any season, this forest do not see autumn, 
autumn season. So this was question one of GACB solution for class nine social science chapter seventeen natural vegetation. I hope you like my video. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you. Please leave comment, question or doubts in comment section if you have any or you can drop a mail to us. You will find my email id at the end of this video. You can also join us on Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, connect us on LinkedIn or tweet us on Twitter. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you. Thank you.